Uh, today we're going to demonstrate taking oil out of the uh, storage container and putting it into your long-term storage jugs. Um, here I just used um, basically a garden hose. I uh, fastened it out of uh, some vinyl tubing. Um, I know previously I mentioned you should only be using high density polyethylene for the oil, um, but this vinyl tubing is, uh, is only going to carry the oil out of the jug into those, sorry, out of the barrel into those jugs. So I'm not as concerned about, uh, about the oil breaking it down, but you can start to see in those couple of places that it is starting to eat through it. So I fastened the, uh, the hose to the top spout uh, where you will be pulling out the oil, not the bottom spout where you'll be emptying out the sludge. Uh, this oil has been, has been cooking overnight, uh, dewatering. Uh, by 9 o'clock this morning it was uh, over 100 degrees Celsius and uh, now it's been about 6 hours and it's uh, warm but not hot to the touch at the bottom. And at the top it's, uh, it's warm as well but not hot. Um, I put the jugs over the uh, newsprint. Uh, this will help uh, cover any mess. Once I'm done from one jug I tilt the other jug over, move the hose into the other jug, and it starts filling again. Um, you'll notice the oil will be warm to the touch, and, um, and you just keep going until it's empty. Um, you keep going until no more oil flows out, but at that point what you want to do is uh, not use the last jug. There'll be dust that settles on the, uh, on the top surface of the oil, and you don't want to use that, so you want to dispose of it. Um, other than that, all the other jugs will be uh, good to go because the sludge will be at the bottom and any, um, any particle matter will be floating on the top of the water.